okay so let's take a look at how you can use mysql shell on windows so whatever the information we are sharing right now here should apply to linux and mac as well so we are focusing more on windows version of mysql shell so what we should do here is we go to mysql.com and here if you go to downloads page you will find a single installer for community edition okay so here at the bottom you can see mysql community downloads and here you can choose the installer mysql installer for windows and that installer contains all the possible tools that you need to run mysql on your computer this includes mysql shell as well so i have downloaded this and also installed it okay so i have covered that part separately and here you can see in windows menu i already have mysql listed here so let me navigate to that so here you can see mysql that contains command line client then community edition shell and workbench okay to start this shell i can click on this mysql shell that should look something like this okay also what you can do is open your regular command prompt and here you can type in mysql sh okay as you can see both your mysql shell and this command prompt option both should show you the same output here you will notice that it can allow you to run both js commands sql commands and as well as python commands so for that we will take a look at command line options separately now the first thing that we are going to do here is we are going to take a look at this command which is help so slash help and you will find that it will list all the possible commands that you can use within your shell it will also show you global objects also show you those shell commands like slash and connect edit exit etc okay so we will take a look at some that you can use immediately so to clear this what i can do is i can type in forward slash then exclamation mark which will point your shell to run system commands so cls and if i type in cls it will clear the command prompt okay next thing is okay next thing is we can type in forward slash status and here you see it will return you the mysql shell version currently i have 8.0.20 Okay, and it will also show me status whether it is connected to mysql server or not so i have not connected it and i have not forwarded the url and port so it may not show me the connection okay now as you can see we will take a look at that connect command okay now it will ask me to connect to this server along with few flags regarding port and uri okay so to connect we will have to make use of that so we'll take a look at that separately in specific session okay so another thing is making use of forward slash js okay now here you can make use of js commands like let's say console.log etc right and to execute javascript you will use forward slash js that allows you to run javascript execution mode okay similarly you can also use forward slash py which will allow you to run python execution mode okay so it will tell you that switching to python mode Okay, there is also SQL mode as well, which you can go for using forward slash SQL. And it will tell you switching to SQL mode command end with this 
semicolon okay now here when you connect to your sql server and wish to execute queries this is the mode you should be moving in with okay so that you can execute those sql commands with semicolon okay so we have taken a look at typical commands that you will be using in your mysql shell okay so i hope that you find this short demo on mysql shell useful